Some months ago I started creating a game with an arcade style driving mechanic. The intention was to make a fun and fast paced gameplay for the mobile platforms under the working title Skyline Scooter. The project started out with a square driving on a sky level and has then evolved to a scooter driving on top of skyscrapers. And so far I've also created a street level with really chaotic gameplay including taxi cars, police barricades and military tanks. And also a construction area where you have to master big jumps and quick turns. In this devlog we are gonna build a new level that's taking place in the suburbs. I had this idea of making a really hostile environment taking place in the suburbs where the streets are controlled by gangs. The objective is, just like in the other levels, to make it to the finish line alive. I started out by making a new road texture in GIMP. I then created some walls surrounding the streets, some trees and some typical suburb buildings. Speaking of hostile, these guys will be our antagonist on this level and their weapons will be Molotov cocktails. The first challenge was to make the enemy throw the Molotov cocktail at the player's direction in a parabolic motion. Rather than using Unity's built-in physics engine, I wanted to be able to fully control the motion and hit a given target point. So, after a bit of research, I found some code that could handle just what I was going for. This piece of code calculates the parabola motion from start to finish, which I could then use in my projectiles update method that will handle the molotov when enemy starts the attack. From here, I could just put the start position, target, height and duration of the motion. I have a link in the description to the code I'm using if anyone is interested in trying it out. In this scene I was using the player as a target and a cube as a projectile. But with this logic a moving target would have already passed by the target hit point when projectile hits ground. So instead I wanted to make a calculation that predicts where the player are heading at and use a position ahead of the player as the projectile target position. This way the player has a few seconds to respond and dodge the projectile before it hits ground. I programmed this by calculating distance to player in the enemy update with a given distance when the attack should occur. This triggers the molotov spawning with the current direction of the player and also sets a landing position for the projectile ahead of the player. And this is what it looks like if we hit play in unity. As you can see it now takes into account if we change direction the player are heading at. Ok, it seems to work as intended, let's replace the cube with an actual bottle when projectile is spawning from the enemy. The only things missing now is a big explosion when bottle hits the ground. I have a really nice asset called Epic Tune Effects, which is pretty epic. And this is the one I decided to use. To be able to detect when players hit or too close to Molotov impact, I simply enabled a collider to the impact area. And this is how our new enemies played out in the game after some tweaking of the projectile script. So far so good, but I wanted something more intense at the end of the level, something like a mini boss. I came up with this idea of having a pickup truck with enemies on the bed and you have to pass by it to get to the finish line. A little bit like that scene in the movie Terminator 2 where the T-800 played by Arnold Schwarzenegger has to pass by a truck in the Los Angeles river to save John Connor. To accomplish this I created waypoints on the road and a controller script to make the pickup car follow the waypoints path when player is close enough. There are other and probably better ways to make this more smooth but I think it does the job. Let's hit play once again and take it for a test run. This was harder than it looks and took me some attempts before reaching that finish line. And today's sponsor is the former red button, nowadays black button. Smash the support channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next devlog.